Imagine a place where business and life can both flourish in perfect harmony. An ambience that inspires staff to provide excellent and efficient services to clients, both corporate and retail. Cal Bank's new ultra-modern head office complex. I am proud to be associated with this building. This building is very eco-friendly. This building has its own power source. Our primary source of power is solar. It's enough to power the entire building and give something to the grid. A blend of current technology and human comfort to create an efficient workspace that fosters well-being, team spirit and productivity. Putting up this structure where we will be able to bring all our services together in one building. This offers us the opportunity of ensuring that staff have a very conducive environment to working. Our clients would come into an environment that would represent whom we are. The 12 story tower, 15,000 square meters of rentable and lettable office space. It's also going to be a smart building. And when I say smart building, we're going to look at all the energy saving efficiencies, smart lighting, motion sensors. It really just marries with our future strategy and the future strategy is about digital transformation where technology is really at the center of everything that we do and will do. The bank too had come of age after 25 years to have a corporate head office which would reflect what the bank stood for in this market. CalBank is a leading indigenous private universal bank in Ghana. Positioned as one of Ghana's fastest growing and most profitable financial institutions, CalBank's remarkable performance stems from a passionate commitment to service. With a wide range of financial products and services, over 30 branches spread across four dominant business regions of Ghana, 108 ATMs and counting, a team of skilled, dedicated and well-trained staff. CalBank has truly become a household name in Ghana, scaling up over the years to emerge as a major financial conglomerate with four key subsidiaries. However, great growth comes with great challenges. Accommodating the growing staff population in a limited space is one. CalBank has always operated from its head office in a campus style um, facility. So we've had several buildings on the compound. It was nice, but not terribly um, efficient. Apart from that, after 25 years of operations, the bank had grown in size and number. And the buildings we occupied were old residential buildings, 80, 85 years old and has started developing some structural deficiencies. So it became increasingly clear that from our existing location, we didn't have enough in terms of adequate accommodation for our staff, befitting of a bank of our stature and making the working environment conducive and pleasant for our staff. So for that reason, the bank decided to make use of its landed property here to put up this edifice. We are going to bring together all the various uh, services within the bank. Uh, as you know, it's not just, just a bank, it's a group uh, providing banking services, providing assets management, brokerage services, custodial services, and hopefully soon trustee services. So it's going to be a one-stop shop where you can come in and find most of the financial services that one would require. There was a whole process that went on for the design. This was about a two to three year process. And that was a tender that went through various processes. When I say various processes, we had a number of architects come through to go through a tender process. But before we even got to tender, there was discussions about concept, land use, design. Actually, we got involved in Carbank through a national open competition. 
It went to a second round competition and actually eventually made winners. First and foremost, we wanted a simple design. We wanted an efficient design and we wanted to conserve land. Don't forget that Independence Avenue would probably be the most expensive square meter land in Ghana. And we sit on 4.7 acres. So we looked to conserve the land, which is why we built a 12-story building. We had to also look at what was at heart of the, the bank, which is the, um, the symbol of excellence. It's an Edinkra, Edinkra symbol, Ghanaian Edinkra symbol, called Nsa. Nsa is just for excellence and that kind of proficiency in, in the industry. And that's what the bank stood for, and it still stands for. Being a local bank and believing totally in the ability of the local indigenous businessman, contractor, consultant, professional, we decided that we would use only local expertise. In August of 2014, the main contractor, De Simone Construction Limited, moved to site to commence with initial works. The project started in August 2014. After the mobilization, we started the demolition of all the existing building and the preparation of the site to start the excavation of the foundation. Our role was to do the structural and civil engineering. So what it means is that we're going to look at all the forces going to come on the building during its lifetime and we make sure that we put in the structural elements, that's the slab, the columns, the beams and the foundation. The footprint of the building itself, just to give you an idea, is about 45 meters square on the base. Now the rough foundation is 1.5 meters thick. The largest concrete pole was a thousand cubic meter that was made in the raft foundation and this was done for four times to complete the total 4,000 cubic that is the raft foundation. With the foundations finished, the team proceeds straight away to building above ground. We looked at the earthquake issues closely, you know, looking at the ranges that we had to, we had to deviate as, as, as it were. You realize that all those elevator shafts, okay, they are not only shafts and, and even the stairs. We've actually, we've actually got thick walls, okay, um, 400 millimeter walls, all, all going up. These walls are the, actually the, the basic prime element that resists the seismic force when it comes. For the core to safely carry the colossal weight of the tower, the concrete must be reinforced with steel rods. In total, it takes 3,000 tons of steel reinforcement to cover the entire complex. That is equivalent to the weight of 1,500 fully grown elephants. Calbank is deeply involved in every aspect of this construction, setting up an internal project management team to supervise the entire process. Our bank is listed on the stock exchange, so there are shareholders who are interested in what we do. They want to find out if the best due diligence and care is being exercised in this process. And so you have an internal team that is also sitting on top of the external team, monitoring and managing and asking questions, because we have the strategy of the bank. If we allow the technical team to work outside of supervision from the bank, they will probably end up with a product that is not useful to us. Construction of the concrete shell has reached an advanced stage. To complete this complex, a total volume of 17,200 cubic meters of concrete will go into the structure. That is enough to fill seven Olympic sized swimming pools. And as always, with projects of this mega scale, challenges are bound to come. We're trying to do a kind of a unique project where we are cost monitoring to the minutest detail, where we are trying to keep quality to, to the highest um, standards. 
is not very easy to achieve. The sheer volume for the logistics that we needed to put together to get the project on, and then that high sense of quality that this client wanted delivered, which we tried to achieve. After nearly two years of sustained effort from the various crews toiling non-stop on this project, the concrete shell of the tower is completed. It has been a long road, filled with many challenges getting this far. Although this project still has a long way to travel, this is a moment worthy to celebrate. This is the first time that the project of this magnitude has taken off. I must mention though that the number of MDs we've had, over six MDs in the past, have tried to do this. And so obviously it makes a lot of difference that we've been able to do this now. Whilst I'm the CEO, I think Carl Bank typically works as a team. So management's buy-in was not difficult at all because of the other issues of the inefficiency of the campus style. So when we approached the board, the board also felt that yes, Apart from all that, the bank too had come of age after 25 years to have a corporate head office which would reflect what the bank stood for in this market. Putting up of this modern head office complex really just reflects the transformation of the bank over the years. Looking back 25 years ago, uh, we were a very small merchant bank with very few corporate customers, um, very little retail offering. We have these old colonial buildings with very small cozy offices. Listing on the Ghana Stock Exchange in 2004, its name changed from Continental Acceptances Limited to Carl Merchant Bank, which was further shortened to Carl Bank. Poised to soar to greater heights of success, Carl Bank is building this ultra-modern head office tower to asset its position as a rising powerhouse in Ghana's financial industry. It is now time to clad the concrete shell of Carl Bank's tower with a glass and aluminium facade. The glass subcontractor K3 is at the site installing the support framework for glazing and fabricating the Aluka bond panels. We are looking at about 4,000 square meters of glass, which tells you that it is huge. Of course, compared to the building, it's proportional, and it gives us the right effect and then the right views that we require. It was quite a huge portion and also the most challenging part of the project. You have to take into consideration the amount of heat gain, solar heat gain. To avoid this problem of heat, a special type of glass is required. A double temperate glass argon field that is uh, suitable for thermal insulation. It reduces the amount of heat that transmits from the outside into the building. And then we've also sought to even reduce it further by throwing in a chemical property, argon. Now, argon is known for its insulation quality, so it further cuts down the heat gain into the building. A most critical issue for any 12-story building is fire safety. We made provision for a wet riser system for such a number of floors. Ghana National Fire Service are deficient in having tender track that can go to the last floor. So we provided a wet riser system that has a pipe for charge with water. The whole building is also designed with sprinkler system. All these, especially the fire hose wheel, the wet riser system, the fire signature, they are all in cabinets. I didn't think that we should use 3.7 acres for surface parking. That, that for me was not an optimum use of land. So what we did was to build a six-story car park, which would hold 305 cars. That would allow us to allocate, say, maybe an acre or less for surface parking, and therefore have another 2.7 acres for redevelopment. 
unveiling of the embossment on the building is on course. The crew is working from a dizzying height of 12 stories in the air. This project would have been one of the maybe the first 10 or 15 buildings that was going to that height. And if you don't have many workers who have that kind of experience, unless you're daily giving them the toolbox talks and giving them alert on how to avoid, you know, accidents on the site. After countless hours of monumental effort, the last plastic sheeting is coming off the Alucubon panels. Finally, the INSA insignia is revealed in its full glory. All 5,000 square meters of it shimmers in the sun, imbuing the Carl Bank Tower with a unique personality. The sighting feature is the INSA symbol. Which from tradition is a symbol of excellence which will be crafted on the building. For me, this is a very unique one, and if I'm not exaggerating, I think it's the first of its kind. It will leave memory on the minds of all who would see it. We are an indigenous bank. We've taken the INSA, which is an indigenous symbol, an indigenous symbol, and we've owned it and represented it in our building. So the building itself is a building of excellence. It's very exciting and it's going to portray what we do. We come out with things that excite our stakeholders. Pushing the envelope of green building standards, this project incorporates what is probably the largest roof-mounted solar farm of any office building in Ghana. I am proud to be associated with this building. This building is very eco-friendly. This building has its own power source. Our primary source of power is solar. It's enough to power the entire building and give something to the grid. That's a great innovation in Ghana, especially for a Ghanaian financial institution. And we really want to lead the way um, with Ghanaian corporates actually getting onto the bandwagon of renewable energy. The lift, the lights, and all the major items are on the solar. Now, if we look at the fact that the sort of challenges we are facing now as a country, if we are able to provide such an energy efficient building, if we are able to provide power to the building which is friendly to the environment, then I think it's something that is quite commendable. But the solar installation is only one aspect of a broader fully integrated system of energy efficiency and sustainability. We're using energy saver lights, LED lights, the sunset everywhere, zoned air conditioning, water treatment plants, water recycling plants. And it also has a building management system, which makes sure that all utilities, etc., are efficiently managed and efficiently utilized. You have presence detectors, and these are working in sectors. Whenever any sector of the building is not in occupation, the system will just demobilize all the installations there, including air conditioning, lighting, and of course, just leave vital minimal lights. In terms of energy saving also, that becomes a plus, because then your ACs are not on when there's nobody in the space. Your lights are not on when there's, when there's nobody in the space. The building is enclosed. It's not like a building where you can easily open a lever for fresh air to come in. So we've introduced a pre cool fresh air there's a mechanized fresh air supply system in the building, which is handled by huge um, air handling units on the rooftop. So there's constant ingress of fresh air into the building. We've recessed the aluco bonds, you know, 600 millimeter deep, just so that you see some, you know, shades on the building. It helps to cool the building. We tried as much as possible to maintain all the trees on the compound before construction started. And whereas we could have felled about 15 or so trees, we ended up felling about just two. We have subsequently planted about 25 or 30 trees, um, just to replace those two or three trees that we felled. Time to complete Carl Bank's head office tower is running out. The team is now under severe pressure to finish the project on schedule. However, a quick fix just to meet the deadline is out of the question because even though speedy execution is crucial, completion cannot be achieved at the expense of quality. At the site, 
a myriad of tasks are all being carried out simultaneously. Yet a mountain of work still remains to be tackled, both inside and outside the structure. With this enormous pressure on the team, a new challenge suddenly crops up. The portion of the site earmarked for the entrance security post and surface parking lot is presently occupied by two Carl Bank buildings in active use. These buildings must be demolished to make way for the construction. The workers are quickly evacuated. Some of them are sent to the Osu Oxford Street branch of the bank, while others relocate to the World Trade Center building Accra. However, the main bulk of workers migrate to the nearby Vanguard Assurance building, where a relatively small space is secured as a temporal station for them to operate from until the Carl Bank Tower is completed. And in the midst of all the helter-skelter, work must go on. But if these bank workers are under pressure, the construction team is under even more severe pressure to complete the project. Demolition of the just evacuated structures is in full swing and in no time, the area is cleared of debris for construction to commence. The team is now racing against the clock to build the entrance security post. Another crew tackles the paving works for the exterior car park. Even before completion, the Carl Bank Tower is fast developing into a landmark of the Independence Avenue skyline. The head office building is a landmark project for us. The building is going to um, boost investor confidence. It's going to open a lot of business opportunities for us. What excites me about this whole project is the eco-friendly features that have been incorporated in the design and in the construction of the project itself. We have a solar farm. We're producing our own electricity because we believe in renewable energy. We have um, incorporated a lot of features into the building itself to help us make savings on the resources that we have spent. We have double glazed windows, occupancy sensors. We also have um, water efficient fittings we have um, some other features that helps this bank to be friendly in terms of its uh, environmental and um, resource use footprints. It represents dynamism. I mean, oh, Car Bank has gone through various phases, some challenging, and we've been able to come out uh, successfully and been able to come out of any challenges that we have met. So it, it, it represents the dynamism of the leadership that we have. The head office building is an embodiment of the essence of the bank. Um, when you have um, a home that you call your home, it's, it's more like that's where you start a new journey. Now that we've built this head office project, we believe that the next few years of Cow Bank will undergo a drastic um, expansion. We can now deliver on other phases of the bank's journey. This will become the most prestigious of our office locations and I think it will add value to the institution. The reputational value this brings to the institution is enormous. I will believe that it should allow us to also take advantage of economics of scale, where we have um, senior managers all working from one location. I expect the structure to facilitate a seamless network between departments and units within the head office. The bank has financed similar projects for our clients, even though we did not have one of our own. I expect the completion of this project to bring excitement to all stakeholders. The project will give us enough space to accommodate all our staff who are now scattered, and that will ensure coordination of activities for the bank. The excitement that comes with living in a brand new office complex will positively you know, transfer into employee productivity and sense of comfort, sense of ease with which they do their work and in the long run bring rewards to both the banker and also to the employees.
I expect that it was going to be a wonderful edifice. It's going to be an ultra-modern edifice as well. And it's amazing how my clients can't also wait to see what comes out of it. There are quite a number of facilities in the thing and I think it's going to be a wonderful experience working there. Our business at Cal Assets Management is underpinned by our integrity and reputation. The new head office complex will further enhance our image within the banking and fund management environment in Accra. When you look at the present head office, we have different, about three different receptions, and it even makes controlling visitors very difficult. I am personally happy in the sense that when everything is completed, we we'll have a common entrance and common exit where both staff, customers will, will use. With that, we will make sure that as security people, we ensure that all the security measures being put in place are complied with. The building is arguably one of the smartest buildings in town. We've had very sophisticated installations um, carried out on the building. For instance, we have the building management solution that um, allows us to manage every aspect of the building in terms of its installations, access controls, fire alarms. In this age of technology, if you don't do the right investments, you'll be left behind by your customers. So all we seek to do is to ensure that our customers are enjoying the better experience they need to. Investments have gone in well into this building. We have not lost sight of technology bit. The customers should expect the best of service on the market, which is yet to come. The idea is to have an open floor plan. And so for example, we're not going to place so much emphasis on, on, on a senior manager, so I must be in an enclosed office. It's about the work that you do, and we need to be able to work on the go. And so for example, I sit at a workstation today and I can be at another workstation tomorrow. Essentially, so the philosophy here is a work-life balance for efficiency. We made sure that the chairs that staff are getting are ergonomic. Um, the workstations are, they give you privacy, but they don't give you too much space. End of the day, we are trying to create an efficient workspace with services which lead to a healthy lifestyle. We live in, in a country where most people would have to wake up quite early in the morning to come to work. They close and it get, it's late for them to get back home in terms of traffic. So we are providing facilities such as the gym, a running track, so that people can exercise even whilst they are here. Well, I've become a fitness freak, knowing that there's a place where I can quickly go, let down my hair, you know, just get out the stress, run around a bit, and then take a shower, which for me is so important and then get back to my um, desk like I haven't done anything or I haven't been away for very long. For me, it's the most exciting. It brings to mind a fair balance between work and life. And so the focus is not only on getting the work done, but staying healthy enough to get the work done and having a bit of fun away from the main work. We have a big auditorium to, to be able to host our various staff debates, which means that we can all sit together as, as a family. With the canteen in the edifice, the beauty of it is to sit in the comfort of your office and have lunch. Um, there's going to be a variety of foods where you can choose from, and then we know, we are assured, that it's going to be healthy and it's going to be hygienic. And for us, that is key. So we've got syndicate rooms on every floor. What these are are small meeting rooms of no more than 15 people or 10 people. The idea is that you don't need to move from floor to floor to have your meetings. This is the tea room. Actually, we have tea here. It's on every floor, which was different from our old building. So this is a place where we can bond, no new faces, ask your names and all that. So it's really, really relevant. And we have some, we have one on each floor. So it helps us to bond. And then I think apart from the tea room, I like the reception area. It's kind of warm. You come in and you feel welcome. We have amazing service um, people who are there to welcome people, any, anyone. And they have 
some sitting area which is really serene and, and nice. This building has a sky bar on the 12th floor. And um, that sky bar is not going to be for the exclusive use of senior management. That sky bar will be open to staff on the last Friday of every month for the celebrants, the birthday celebrants, to use for their birthday swally because the building belongs to all staff. When you walk through the banking hall, the experience alone is enough to let you know that this is the place that you belong to. The layout has been done so beautifully and with a customer in mind that when you come there, you, would, you actually may feel like not going back home. The Cal Bank Tower is now practically complete. The rise upwards has been difficult with many obstacles on the way. On the main contrast side, we had as many as five electrical sub-packages and about four mechanical sub-packages. Coordinating all this to give a harmonious, high-quality building was very challenging. But against all the odds, the team of local consultants and contractor has created one of the most spectacular energy-efficient office buildings in Ghana. The scale of the project is such that even if you had used the best the world would throw at you, you're definitely going to have, still have challenges. It's a matter of how these challenges are addressed. And I have to say that um, all involved, particularly Mr. Bonafo and his team, Abraham Agoriba and the others, and Mr. Widu, of course, uh, manage these difficulties with, with expertise and with a lot of patience. This is Carl Bank's ultra-modern head office complex, a grand tower of glass soaring 12 stories to a height of 53.63 meters above an elegant podium. All 4,000 square meters of glass panels mirror the surrounding landscape, reflecting the blue skies and the changing moods of the clouds. Located at the prestigious Independence Avenue enclave, this 12-story tower incorporates what is probably the largest solar farm of any office building in Ghana, with a capacity to generate 500 kilowatts of power, 15,200 square meters of office space to accommodate all departments and subsidiaries of the Cal Group. A world-class banking hall for the ultimate customer experience, an amazing fitness and wellness center complete with running tracks a 400-seater conference room, a spectacular and spacious canteen, an advanced building management system which monitors and regulates all utilities to ensure efficiency, as well as an executive suite at the penthouse level with breathtaking views of the whole city of Accra. The edifice is crowned with a sky bar at the rooftop the complex also has a six-story car park which can carry 305 cars. For an architect my age, having you know, had the experience working with these phenomenal teams to come up with this, I mean I can only say that it's humbling. It feels good because you see in Ghana here, you don't have such high-rise structures coming up every day as engineers. So for something like this, I think it was really good. The local engineers did it. So we want to thank Carl Bank for giving us that opportunity. I feel it very proud to have completed the project of this size. It's very satisfying for any architect to dream something. It's gone through competitions. It's now come out of the ground. It's actually standing tall as it is now. Each day is like, probably like a mother watching a baby grow. Um, great satisfaction. Calbank took a bold decision to rely exclusively on local expertise to execute this monumental project. How does the final result match up to the high expectations? We are extremely pleased with what um, the contractors, uh, together with management who supervise this thing, have achieved. I suppose this is a much more pleasant place to, to come now. Hello, good morning. Welcome to Calbank. 
with anybody walking into this building would have the necessary confidence that they are working with a bank of, of stature. An indigenous bank with a reputation, a strong bank which has delivered on its promises over the last 20 years. A practical handover ceremony is held in November 2018 to pave the way for the beginning of partial occupancy by Cal Bank employees. This building should have a positive impact on productivity. First and foremost, the layout of the office plans, um, the workstations, efficiency of the resources available to anybody to do his work. The whole idea is for it to give you a certain level of comfort so that you can work better. It gives a certain sense of you know, pride to see how far this project has come, the project Cow Bank, because it set out on about 10 years ago on branch expansion project, which has ended up here. And we are very proud that CCNM to have been associated with the bank all through this project. I think I want to start every day with the national anthem to be played at 8 a.m. and to close the day, the work day, with the NRA Assassin to be, to be played at 5 p.m. Just to give us a little bit more of nationalistic fervor. After four years of rigorous running and coordinations and all that, we've brought all the departments back. And so it was like a homecoming. You can move from one floor to the other, and you meet over 400 people, and it's so exciting. For the people who have waited so long to occupy this spectacular tower, this is a defining moment. One word. Magnificent. Iconic. It's magnificent. It represents growth. Splendid. The one word would be innovative. Awesome. Awesome. Ecstatic. I'd say magnificent. It sums it all up. We had waited in bated breath for the building to be completed so that we could move in. And we're really excited that uh, we are finally moved in and enjoying the place. One of the many things about the building that excites me is the gym. Can you imagine this 12 floor building is equipped with um, a highly sophisticated gym that enables the staff to be able to exercise alongside our very busy work schedule. This building as we have it would be the next step in, in the life of the bank which would bring greater heights to the bank. This edifice as we have it is testament to the good working relationship that we have with our shareholders. We shared this vision of a head office with them. They bought into it, and today we have delivered onto this. And I believe that the shareholders should take the pride in having a bank with an edifice of this nature. It gives me great pleasure to be here today for the official launch of this state-of-the-art head office of Carl Bank Limited. I am delighted because this commitment signals what a local indigenous bank can achieve with commitment to hard work by its dedicated workforce. I have no doubt in my mind that this office space has cutting-edge technology that incorporates accessibility, safety, and functionality for both staff and customers. I'm highly honored to have you at this special formal opening ceremony of the iconic, eco-friendly Bank head office on number 23 Independence Avenue. Digital address GA-055-4585. Thanks to His Excellency Mohamed Baumia, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana. Mr. President, Carl Bank started with 23 numbers in 1990 from Pegasus House, just two blocks from where we stand. The vision of our forebears saw the bank migrate to our current location 
which are for colonial style residential buildings. And for this, let me pay a warm tribute to the founding MD of Calvary, the indefatigable Afari Duncan. Whose vision transported us from number 21 Independence Avenue to number 23 Independence Avenue. The decision to build the new car bank head office was for the following reasons. One, our growth strategy and long-term expansion program required an iconic office presence to drive the agenda. Two, we needed a decent working environment for our team to operate in. Three, we needed a head office building and banking space for the convenience of our customers. And four, we are duty bound to contribute to the development and beautification and modernization of the capital. I'm gratified by Carbank's decision to use clean, affordable energy from the 500 kilowatt solar plant installed here, the realization of goal number seven of the SDGs. As we inaugurate this new office building, I believe it is the start of a new exciting chapter of growth and innovation for Cow Bank. I congratulate board chair, members of the board, managing director and the management and staff for bringing Cow Bank to this day. And I wish them more success in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, I declare the head office of Cow Bank formally open. May God bless Cow Bank. It stands triumphantly and resolutely against the skyline as a tribute to the values and principles that made Cal Bank what it is and what it will always be, a place of great possibilities and great dreams. It will serve the bank for a very long time to come and staff should be absolutely proud of that building. It's a um, testament to all of us, to all the hard work that every single member of staff has put in.